What's up team, just got back from Big Vikings win. Gotta get this video done and upload it. John, say what's up. What's up? Let's go. John in an elevator. John usually takes the stairs. <laughs> um, I, uh, I wanna shoot this super quick video on something that I was thinking about this afternoon and just didn't have time to get the video put together, but it's about, it's about happiness and like, and like taking shortcuts and specifically not taking shortcuts because in the last three, four, five weeks, I've noticed my like average mood being much higher, just being like much more positive, much more optimistic, much happier. And I attribute that to discipline. And I know that sounds weird, um, but I wanna give you an analogy. So we played the movie Limitless yesterday when me and John, Sunday afternoon, both had our laptops up, grinding, kind of like had the volume on low, we'd seen it before, like that kind of thing. But the idea of popping a magic pill that like puts you in this perfect mindset, that makes you this brilliant person, that makes you just crush it at life, etc. cetera. Um, it's very like, it's tempting, right? You don't have to do anything and you just straight crush it and you're the best ever. Just if, if only I could have that pill. But a version of that pill exists, not to the hyperbole that is the movie Limitless, but uh, like sleeping eight hours a night, strength training, meditating, like going on walks, do, doing the right thing over a long period of time and like sticking to those, it's self-discipline is what it is. Doing that over time leads to an elevated mood in the long run. Um, and, and there's also, there's a downside to the pill thing because it's not just a, a NZT or whatever the limitless pill is called. Like there are pills that do something to a similar effect, Adderall, uh, modafinil, provigil, like like things that gives you that give you that short term boost that have repercussions, that have downfall, that have like uh, your tolerance can build up to it, and then when you're not on it, or even if it's if it's physiological or just psychological dependence on those things for hard work, then when you can't take it, you're like, oh, I can't even get this done because I don't have my Adderall. I see it in a lot of college students. I see it in a lot of like something I've struggled with in the past with playing around with Adderall for, for big work days. Uh, but doing the hard thing, I've talked about this before, I've made videos about like, always do the uncomfortable thing, your life will be better, always do the hard thing and in the long run things will be better, self-discipline versus regret. But I haven't talked about it as it relates to happiness because doing this, one, the reverse bet, um, two, the like just my training in general, three, getting enough sleep consistently, all of these things, and, and like a few other things, like in now that the reverse bet's getting easier for me, we've added more things, and John has too, like challenges to push each other with like other aspects of our life. And, uh, and I find that building that streak and sticking to those things, even though every time in the short run they're tough, leads to more positive mood, more positivity, like more desire to engage with people, just happier in life. And I think. You know, the, the first couple weeks weren't easy. Getting that streak, getting that momentum, like getting the big object moving, like I talked about in the last video on my dad, is really hard. But once you have it going, there's so much upside. And like once you once you build one habit, then you can add another one on top, and then you can layer another one on top. Um, yeah, I just I think self discipline leads to not only more productivity, but also better mindset and a happier version of you. All right. Appreciate you. I appreciate you guys watching. And if you have questions, or if you want to like comment, or if you want to like throw similar experiences you've had below, I'm more than happy to jam in the comment section. All right. See you tomorrow.